And the man and his wife were both naked, and were not ashamed. Genesis 2.25 Greetings mortals, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Simon, and I will be your host for the broadcast. The question of why humans suffer is a profound and complex one, deeply rooted in philosophical, religious, and existential discussion throughout history. One perspective on this issue, often invoked in religious context, is the narrative of the fall of man in the Garden of Eden, as described in the Bible in Genesis 3-7. According to this story, Adam and Eve, the first humans, were initially in a state of blissful innocence and harmony with nature, much like animals. However, their choice to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil led to their eyes being opened, and they became self-conscious, realizing their nakedness and vulnerability. Then they tried to cover themselves with fig leaves. This transformation from a state of innocence to self-awareness is often seen as the moment when suffering entered the human experience. It marked the beginning of a life filled with moral dilemmas, existential angst, and physical hardship. Self-consciousness brought about the awareness of morality, the capacity for moral choices, and the burden of responsibility for one's actions. So, in a sense, the fall of man brought sin into the world. These elements contribute to the complexity and depth of human suffering. The reference to the serpent, often associated with mercury in alchemy, introduced an intriguing perspective. Some interpretations suggest that the serpent's role in tempting Adam and Eve to eat from the forbidden tree was not merely an act of deceit, but rather a catalyst for human evolution. In this view, the serpent's actions were meant to push humanity towards self-awareness and moral discernment. By acquiring knowledge, humans gained the capacity to reason, make choices, and engage in complex cognitive processes. From this perspective, the suffering that emerged from the fall was not a punishment, but a necessary step in human development. It allowed for the potential for greater growth, understanding, and the pursuit of wisdom. The serpent, after all, is a symbol of rebirth. It set humans apart from other creatures, granting them the ability to shape their destinies and, ultimately, their understanding of the world and themselves. In summary, the question of why humans suffer is a multifaceted and profound inquiry that has been explored in various ways throughout history. The story of the fall in the Garden of Eden offers one religious perspective, suggesting that the transition from innocence to self-consciousness marked the onset of human suffering. The serpent's role in this narrative, when viewed as a catalyst for human evolution, introduced the idea that suffering might have been a necessary part of our journey towards greater understanding and enlightenment. The serpent, if it wants to become the dragon, must eat itself. Francis Bacon Now I want to thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new, and please leave a comment below. I love reading your comments. Also, please check out my Patreon, and go support me there. See you in the next one, mortals.